Sarah Richardson. This is Alan. And this is Alan's bathroom. But this is what Alan's bathroom looks like now thanks to lots of help from Design Inc. I just got the call. Another mission for Design Inc. I'm off to meet my old friend, Alan, who has a few bathroom issues. I've had nothing but problems okay. in this bathroom. Yep. The shower leaks. Every one of these cupboards I've had to fix because they're broken. The toilet doesn't flush. This is really the world's worst toilet. Okay. And it sits there right in the middle. Okay. Would you believe five years ago this was a brand new bathroom? It's inefficient, it doesn't work, and it's not good quality, like it's a typical builder. And the other part is that I have this deck that is totally not utilized. Yeah, a balcony's not all that practical when all you're wearing is a towel. I share the house with my girlfriend now. Right. And if you were to notice the closet, there's no room for her clothes. Yeah, wait, there was no room for her clothes before. Uh. I've seen your closet. I, I, ha I have maybe a slight shopping habit. Slight is an understatement. But Alan's also got a plan. Okay, so we've got a closet on this side and a closet right, on this so side. Right, so remove this wall. Yep. And then we could have one very Big. large closet. Okay. And then by utilizing you... here and here and the deck, yep. we could create a beautiful bathroom where we could put some skylights in and have the sun shining in. So anything that is bathroom is now a closet. Right, so we can get rid of three yep. doorways. The key to this is we're enclosing the porch. Right. Okay. What about style? You know, I, I'm sort of thinking more relaxed, spa-like. Like, like okay. one of my things is I have this bathtub. Yeah. The water is always, you put it in, it's hot, it gets cold. I like right. to have, instead of a bath, maybe like a little soaking tub. That's sounding spa-like to me. I think the closet plan sounds great. Oh, I'm it's... very excited about that. <laughs> I think you're just renovating your bathroom so you can get a better closet, but that's okay. That's your business. First step in this project is to meet up what with Alan's here? architect, John. I like that. We're dealing with some big pages here, so it's important that we're all on the same one. Now, we tried to clear up this doors situation yeah. here, but the problem, I think, is that you don't really want to go through the washroom to get to the dressing room. Would you ever think yeah. about having the entry to the bathroom be from this side? John continues to work on these plans so we can get a building permit. Okay. Meanwhile, it's time for the Design Inc. team to spring to action. Tanya's my partner on this one. Oh, really? And we start right away by finding inspiration through tile. What about that as shower wall? That'd be awesome. Like, doesn't that sort of look like a waterfall kind of? That's nice, because so you can do a whole really palette weird. of grace. But I think it's going to look, yeah. I mean, he said spa, but everybody's idea of spa is completely different. So is spa blues, like greens, yeah. watery, white, or is it smoky gray? I like this one. So do I. This is, this is my gut tells me this is what we're doing. I just think this is more him. Tanya and I seem to be in sync. Now to bring the client into the loop. I think Alan is sophisticated and he has really sleek taste and he loves modern. So I think he's willing to do something that is a little bit more unusual than what the masses would do. It's a very cool pen. It's, um, you know, when lefty's right like this. Yeah. yeah. Cool pen. Alan clearly has a taste for the unusual. We wanted you to do things that weren't sort of the everyday that you'd see right. everywhere and see if any of this stuff appeals to you. If none of it does, we start again. This is a multi-marble mosaic. You could do some of this, and then you can do bands with the sort of listellos. See, I'm having a Sleep. hard time. Like, I like everything you show me, but you know, when you, you sort of see the layout, then I could sort of like visualize like this is on this wall. It may be a better idea to stick with the big picture stuff until John finishes those plans. The specific tub that we have in mind, the water gets circulated 
reheat it, and then put back in. So that's like that. exactly, that's nice. yeah. that's and you can exactly see. exactly what I wanted. That's exactly right. We're gonna have a large scale shower stall. I think we wanna see some wood. Right. We wanna see an interesting use of different materials. Like I like all of this, Sarah, I really do. We're so glad, okay. Not bad, Alan digs our color scheme and it looks like we're moving in the right direction. Those architectural plans will be a big help. The other thing Rome is- Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will this bathroom. We're all putting on our thinking caps. I think we're gonna have a great bathroom, but I think that this project is coming with a really, really high price tag. So Alan's bathroom doesn't cost him the moon. He just sort of said that he wasn't, he couldn't see the bathroom yet. He needs to know where everything's gonna go before yeah. he can really commit. We know the bathroom's gonna have skylights, but beyond that, we're not too sure where everything goes. We've got to finalize these plans. One of his primary goals here is to have a, a deep tub that's gonna stay hot. So there's only one product that I've ever seen that's like that, and it is an overflowing edge that reheats the water and recirculates it, so. That sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, it's, yeah. And, and, and... <laughs> exciting and? Expensive. <laughs> the other thing Rome is, wasn't built in a day, and neither will this bathroom. Perfect. Well, we've given John's gonna go back to his office and tweak right? things yeah, a bit. Did I say tweak? It seems it's more like, like a complete it's overhaul. Basically, separating the closets, making the bedroom area smaller, changing the location of the entrance and the size of the bathroom is the same. Basically, it looks to me like we are now moving everything just for the sake of being able to say, how about let's try it here? I think a lot of it may come down to financial. This to me looks like the price point is just through the roof. I think I need to stand in the space to see how the light hits, what we're really gonna gain. Do we have a key? Yes. So John's latest idea was yeah. put a closet back behind where the bed is now. Right. And make the bedroom smaller. One of the reasons this has taken so long is nobody can decide how many closets we need or where they should go. We've talked to Herbie, and who's the contractor, and he said that all the different ways that we're doing it doesn't make a difference. It's all gonna cost the same amount of money, give or take. I don't believe that. You know, if you move a toilet, it's gonna cost you $2,000. If you start moving plumbing, if, to take a bathroom from there to, to there. there is definitely gonna be mm -hmm. ten to $15,000 more than leaving the bathroom where it is mm -hmm. and making the best use of it. This is what bugs everybody, right? This little triangle here with door, door, door seems to be what's really bothering everybody. Could we not address it just by squaring off this wall? Mm -hmm. What if you had this as a closet still? Mm -hmm. you turn this bathroom into a secondary closet, and then this becomes the bathroom with the door that goes in, in that, that corner. Way. I originally thought the whole point of doing this was to get more closet space and a great bathroom. I'm not believing at all that we're gonna get more closet space, and I just wanna make sure that that doesn't come back to be something that bites us in the end. And I think we're gonna have a great bathroom, but I think that this project is coming with a really, really high price tag. Like if you put the bench here. I'll be totally honest with everybody, my biggest concern is, I think this is a really expensive way to not get any more closet space. Like no matter what any of us try and do with this, I don't believe you're gaining closet space. And I think that this is what you want, is more closet space. We did measurements with John, mm -hmm. and where we are today, versus where we were when we did this mm -hmm. was twice as much as what we had before. It, well, I wouldn't say twice, but there is. I love the idea of capturing the outside space. Don't get me wrong there. I think okay. that's terrific. But that is, that is the only space we are capturing. This is a, a really expensive exercise for a bathroom. I really want a really nice bathroom. Yeah. I mean, just to, but that yeah. was like the beginning part. That was right? where it all started, okay. We've reached consensus. This bathroom is actually gonna be a hybrid of John's original plan and some of my ideas. And the great thing is, once the walls come down, the contractor is taking care of the closets, leaving Design Inc. to focus on the bathroom. That's all glass, and then we have... So the tub is interesting. One of Alan's main concerns is, does it stay warm? And I talked to our rep, who sells it, and he says, it stays warm, it doesn't stay hot. I don't wanna put in a tub, that Alan is gonna say, it's not hot, and it's a $7,000 tub. 
Looks like my concerns about the budget weren't in vain after all. Alan's willing to go with a less expensive tub. He just said to me now, as long as I can get in it and it's hot for 15 minutes, I'm cool. The funny thing about doing bathrooms is you find out more than you think that you need to know. I mean, you have to ask all these really personal questions like, how do you bathe? How long do you bathe for? How hot do you like the water? Do you bathe with anybody else? I mean, it's ridiculous. Look, you've got there for a shower. Now, about the vanity. The vanity solution is it's gonna be custom made. Okay, one sink, two sinks. I'd be more tempted to go with one sink and a big counter. Right. Rather than two sinks. Two sinks is only good if you have two people brushing their teeth at the exact same time. Right. Okay. I just, you know, I want it to be the most functional You met easy going out in the world. <laughs> well, let's hope he stays easy going even when the going gets rough. Right, which is why if it can't be made 100% gone, I think whoever and caused the problem takes I've seen it in my worry. We're back at Allen's for one last run through of where the fixtures go. Okay, so we've got tub here, centered tub filler, sconce on either side, mm -hmm. shower over here, separate water closet with a door on it, mm -hmm. nice long narrow vanity with one wide oversized, sounds like we're talking about a big rectangular bowl. Yeah, it's about 39 inches. Pendant lights on either side. Hi Alan, it's Sarah. I was just at the site. It's looking good. They are making some good progress there. The momentum builds. Now the drywall's up and it's already time to lock the tile. Gotcha. I just got the deal of the century on some marble cut into long, thin strips. Did you steal it from this guy? Well, I didn't steal it. They just, it wasn't being used. Somebody had ordered it but never picked it up. Installing this tile horizontally will give us a sleek wall of stone. So the idea was to do this all across this wall because we thought you should walk in and see something that was dramatic. And the idea was this on the shower floor, but it only comes with the black, so we got these pieces, so you just change it out, so instead of being black and Thassos, it's Carrera and Thassos. As for the shower stall... Two bands out of this wall, say this band here, right. and this band here, continue across there. What do you want to bet that nobody and gets shower, it? Shower, and back across, and this, goes above and below, which basically means that you're ending up getting two stripes of this marble. I mean, you get a start again. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <really saying. laughs> One more time. You're gonna have having that the whole wall going all the way up. Get out a pen and paper. At this height, we take one piece and we carry it through, and then in between, we still put just all the little thassos going in there. So Even my pen's not cooperating. But the trades are, and they start tiling up a storm. Everything's moving along nicely, and what do you know? Tanya's had her baby. Ashley's gonna pinch hit to finish the job. Hopefully no one else will have to step up, as Ashley's about to deliver herself. Good, how are you, baby? How you doing? Yes. Oh, I thought they said all the grading was done. No. I can call you right now. I just, I just like, we need to just get this done. Yeah. Like, I don't understand what's taking I so long. Um, first of all, I just want to know what your schedule is for the grout. Okay, so glass is coming in two weeks. Do you have a date for that, or, or? Can we speed okay. that up? No one's there, the shower's not grouted, the shower doors aren't there, the tub hasn't been installed, the lights haven't been installed. What was the cost to paint the walls? Do you know offhand? I'm paying $600 to have the painter repaint the walls. I don't know how they ended up that color. It'll be built to us, it won't be built to Alan. Okay, it's not his fault. <laughs> we are 90% done and everybody's sort of lost interest. Why hasn't the grouting happened, do you know? Well, it just doesn't happen because the glass partition for the shower um, is not ready for two weeks, so... We've I never had somebody wait to grow. I guess they're on another job, to be quite honest, so they think they have the time. It's, it's really starting to get under my skin that it's not getting finished. One bright spot, the custom vanity has arrived on time. Things are looking up.
Houston, we've got a problem. A 250-pound wall of glass has fallen and shattered in Alan's bathroom. The glass has been cleaned up, but the bathroom may be scarred for life. That's the easiest thing to fix because it's a solid wood. Just a little 400 sandpaper and some of that special oil. It's on all of them now, maybe. It's here, 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 here. Sand it. Well, no, you can't sand it because the hole's still going to be there. Like, it has to actually be filled. Like, you can't take... You won't see it. It's not here, either. I think that came like that. No, no. There's no way. The falling glass also chipped some of the tiles in the new shower. What did Alan say? No, he doesn't know. Alan's going to have to know as soon as we get the story. It can be made better, but it can't be made 100% gone. Right, which is why if it can't be made 100% gone, I think whoever and caused the problem takes I've seen responsibility. I see it in my worries. Like, if you change these pieces... Oh, I know. They can't... You might end up with more damage than what you started out Agreed. with. Agreed. You know, I, the piece next to it chips, and you take that piece out and one right. piece, it chips. No, I completely agree. I just feel that it's not Alan's fault. No, it's Alan's not. just big client, and I understand that it's not so we your fault, something. but I understand that whoever caused this to happen, there has to be some benefit to Alan, which is Alan gets a free shower enclosure. Or something, you know, or a discount or something. I think Alan you know. gets a free shower enclosure. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'm happy to deal with them on it. I just think it's... Oh, I'll talk to him, but... So you want to talk to him and ask him if it's free, or do you want me to call him and ask him if it's free? Why don't you talk to him? Because oh, I, I know he's ordered this piece already. How did I know that? How did I know I was going to be the one to talk to him? Great. We lost Tanya. Tanya had a baby. We lost Ashley. Ashley had a baby. Are there anybody else going to have anything to do with the baby today? No babies. No time for babies. Okay. okay. We have a list. We only have about five things left to do here. The glass door is being installed. Herb is going to install all of the hardware, towel bars, etc. We have a mirror that's down on the front porch. We have to bring it up and install it. It's beautiful. Can you come and help us? I think you just have to lift from the bottom. I love it there. Then we have to just accessorize. I think simplicity is key. Look at the color of that. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Okay, so Tommy, we have to decide on side tables. I can't get enough on that. You, only your drink. And what about my magazine? And what about my phone? That's not a little bigger. That one's too big. Nice. I like it. It's majestic. I don't know. I just feel like you'd want to stay here all day long. Do you like this one or the beehive? I prefer the beehive. Really? I think that one looks better. I don't like this kind of little open... And so... It's not Alan's fancy yeah, pen, do. but it'll do. <laughs> but I just Here, wanted to give... Here, are you <laughs> You know, it's always great to work with Sarah and uh, sort of see what she's thinking about. But I think in the end, it'll be nice when everybody clears out. Alan needs a long soak in this towel to break from the process. 